And we called this protest because of a horrible atrocity in Yemen, one that the U.S. government is partly responsible for. Uh, the Saudi Air Force or the UAE Air Force bombed a school bus deliberately in Sada in northern Yemen and there was a horror show. At least 40 children on this school bus were killed. Evidently it was some kind of summer activity connected with a school and others, the teachers on board, some of them were killed and scores of people were injured. And the United States is implicated in this for the plain reason that we sell the Saudis the weapons and we help the Saudi Air Force with in-flight air refueling and we help the Saudis with targeting and we help the Saudis at the UN by covering up what they do and giving some kind of fig leaf once in a while for their intervention. Remember back, this whole enterprise is, is a crime, a, a crime of aggression. <coughs> there was vicious fighting inside of Yemen. And we're not taking the side of any of those parties. But the Saudis attacked unprovoked. None of these parties in Yemen were threatening or attacking Saudi Arabia. Nor did the United Nations Security Council give Saudi Arabia or any other outside force permission to use military force in Yemen. But they did so and the results have been appalling. Thousands of people dead, at least 10,000 civilians directly from the military uh, bombings and, and shootings. And then there's thousands, 10, who knows how many thousands of children. UNICEF did a report years ago, I think two years ago, that said 10,000 excess children had died because of lack of proper water and, and uh, lack of their access to their usual medicine. So we're talking at least 20,000 people, probably lots more. It's a horrible atrocity what's going on. It's aggression. And the United States is up to its ears in it. And the Trump administration has carried on the awful policies of the Obama administration on this. And so we are here in protest of this bus bombing. And there's another aspect. There was a report by the Associated Press, something almost unbelievable, that the United States Pentagon, the military forces, are working with Al-Qaeda in Yemen. That the Trump administration is so uh, enthusiastic in supporting the Saudi effort against Ansar Allah, sometimes called the Houthis, that they will drop the whole war on terror and actually work with Al-Qaeda forces, to give them money to uh, te temporarily stop fighting, or, or they'll give them money to clear out for a while, and then they proclaim victory. I mean, it's uh, the Associated Press did a very thorough report on this. It, it's outrageous, and there should be a full congressional investigation. There's questions of treason in this. We've We've expended billions and billions of dollars on this so-called war on terror because of 9-11, because of the Al-Qaeda attack in New York City and elsewhere. And now we're working with Al-Qaeda? I mean, people involved with that should be punished. There should be a full investigation. So we're here today in small numbers. You know, we heard about it. We felt we had to do something. So we have our banners here. Um, one sign is a picture of the uh, mangled bus and it, uh, it says 40 children killed in Saudi U.S. bombing of school bus in Yemen. Another sign says reporters reveal Pentagon working with Al-Qaeda in Yemen demand congressional investigation and punishment.